Hey, welcome back to Unusual Pets. Today we have a show video and a pickup video all in one, so let's get to it. So yeah, um, I, like I said, we have a show video and a pickup video, so I'm going to show you some show footage. It was super, super busy. Busy. It was our first ever time at Seas, so I'm going to show you what footage that we actually managed to get. It was very difficult to walk around because it was so, so busy. Um, obviously, I'm in my mobility chip scooter, so it was a bit more uh, difficult to get around, hence why I didn't. As um, After the doors opened, I pretty much just stayed at my table until near the end when it started to calm down a lot. Um, and then I had a quick run round, so I didn't get that much, but I have got a few things, but I will show you after the show footage, so let's roll it. ready the room is empty um, and we are ready to go <sighs> time for the show
was the show footage. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to show you my pickups now. Um, so we didn't spend that much money at the show this year. Um, obviously, this was our first year at Seas. Everything was a bit crazy. Our first time there, it was super, super busy, like I said. You probably saw in some of the footage. But I'm going to show you what I got. I'll start off with the dry goods like I normally do, followed by gifts, followed by what we actually bought. So um, I'll get started with the dry. Um, so the first thing we got was some flakes oil for my beetle larvae. Um, I've already opened it. Um, so that's the first thing I got. Obviously, that's really good. They're from the spider shop. Um, that was £7.50, I think. Then we went to Buzzard Reptile and Buzzard Reptile did some bags of cuttlefish, £3 for this bag. Um, I don't use that much because most of my snails are quite small, but I do go through it, so I do need to buy some. Um, then we got a bag of lovely bee pollen. Um, probably going to have to get some more at the next show again. I go through this quite quickly. Um, having all the different co cockroaches, they absolutely love this. It's really good for them. So um, I use that for some of their feeds. Like I said, that was from Buzzard Reptiles. So go check them out at the next show. So that was the dry goods that we've got. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is the gifts that we were given. So the first one is these, which is the absolutely gorgeous um, Pseudophasma subaterum, I think they say it, brown beauty stick insects. Um, we've got a couple of these from Steve, absolutely love these little things. Uh, he gave them to Terry, says to Terry, love from Phil's BFF. So I don't know if it means best friend forever or boyfriend forever, but we you never know, you never know. Here we go. Um, the next thing that I got was, this was kind of also off Steve, but it was off Mark and Victoria. They did a competition and the competition prize was this absolute beauty. It is lovely, beautiful sea elegans, uh, one of my favourite tarantulas. So I'm going to get that into its enclosure in a moment. The next animal that we got was this, which is a Salmopeus cambogai, or cambogai as um, Matt calls it. I think everybody has slightly different um, pronunciations. The tissue has moved and I'm not sticking my finger in there to find out how to move it back up, but um, he is absolutely stunning. Um, I'm very excited to be keeping him as part of a breeding project with mine. Um, she is definitely, definitely a fully grown female and I am really excited to pair them up. Um, I've not bred this species, so I'm actually really excited to have a go, although I'm I'm pretty nervous. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep you updated on this. So the next animal that we got um, is these, which is the absolutely gorgeous little stripy pill bugs. Um, I've got one already, and I just wanted some more because I wanted to make sure I had a male and female. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to breed them, but... Um, I'll give it a go. I'm more I'm more interested in keeping them as pets because I just really like them. Uh, they're kind of interesting little things. They really, really like moss, like the under layer of moss. Um, and yeah, they're just really cool little guys to keep. keep. And I get them out of here ASAP because they do not do well on coir or uh, co cocoa fibre, however you want to call it. Um, uh, it's not very good for them, so I'm going to get them out of here, get them into the enclosure um, that I have the others in, and yeah, hopefully we'll breed eventually. So the next thing we got were these five cocoons from the ele elephant or hawk moth. Um, I need to get these into some substrate, um, so I'm going to get that, uh, get some topsoil and just poke their ends in apparently, and that helps them to hold in and come out of the cocoon but apparently we won't get them out of the cocoon until later on in the year so that will be really interesting to see i'm going to keep them somewhere that's a bit cooler so probably out in my storeroom um just so that they are not too cold but they need to stay cool so um the guy even said i could put them in my fridge if i want to so i think i'd rather put them outside in the natural environment because they're actually uk native so 
So the next animal we got was this absolutely gorgeous male Brachypelma homori. Um, we got it from Spa Spiders, the awesome um, Luke gave us a little bit of a discount on him. Um, he's absolutely gorgeous, look at that little guy. Um, very, very excited for a future breeding project, um, probably in about another million years when he actually fully grows because they take forever, but Terry wanted this one. So we've got yet another Hamori, that's the number four. Um, I really do love my Hamoris, but um, I really needed a male, so I'm well happy now. Just look at that little guy. Next thing we got was these absolutely gorgeous um, assassin snails. Uh, I say assassin snails, they are predatory snails. Um, I can't remember the uh, scientific name for them, I'm going to have to double check. But they're absolutely gorgeous, they look bright green um, and the foot is yellow. And when the foot goes actually back up into the shell, they actually turn like a clear um, white colour, so which is pretty cool. I'm going to get these into an enclosure. I already have one, um, although we're not 100% sure that they are actually the same species. So um, I'm not sure whether I can put them together just yet. So I'm just waiting for Phil to confirm that for me. Uh, but if I can put them together, then I will, which will be really awesome. The next animal we got uh, was off Phil, which is really epic, is these absolutely gorgeous orange wing stick insects. They're some of my favourites. Um, I've absolutely fallen in love with this species. Um, they don't get very big. They're a nice small species, but they have beautiful bright orange wings. So um, I will try and get you a close up of their wings at some point. I might even do a video on them. But yeah, Phil, um, awesome, incredible invits. Um, I bought these from him. Um, the next animal that we got was a pack of Phil's awesome um, emerald roaches. Um, I, there's a male in here, which is something I really, really needed. I also think he may have given me a nice adult female, um, or at least sub-adult female, so that's extra um, bloodlines and stuff, which is really epic. Uh, there's a couple of babies in here too, so he gave me a good little selection of them, so I'm really happy with that. Um, they are absolutely brilliant, and if you get anything from the Incredible Invert stand, he's also put a little QR code on here. If you scan that into your phone, it'll take you to one of his videos, which will tell you all about the animal. And while we were walking around, we just happened upon some mm. of these. Um, Terry's very upset about this because Phil managed to get the woman to put her prices up. Uh, she was selling them for seven of them was ten pounds. Um, and that was a lot cheaper than what Phil was selling for and what they're worth. So Phil went over and told us so she put the price up. Luckily she gave them to Terry for £10. Um, and But the price in the end was £20. But to be fair, that was a reasonable price for this species. They are normally fairly expensive, so that's quite common. Um, but yeah, there's about seven in here, which is really, really cool. So we've got extra bloodlines of them too. Um, so I think that's everything that we actually got at the show. Um, everything that we uh, were gifted, thank you so much everybody who gifted us. Steve W, thank you for the gift of the stick insects um, and the gift of the um, beautiful C. elegans um, from Mark and Victoria. So Mark and Victoria also thank you very much. Uh, Victoria was her usual self at the show trying to steal everybody's arms. Um, she doesn't want to keep just her own arms, she wants everybody else's arms too. <laughs> so, but yeah, we had an amazing day. Um, it was great fun. Um, we got to see all of our friends. Uh, we took Scott Tasker home. Um, so we didn't get home until 1am. So this video is coming to you from Monday evening. Um, and we are just literally just exhausted. So we're going to get an early night tonight. Um... Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this and I love you all very, very much. See you soon. Bye.